This is the carburetor that I'm going to be taking apart and rebuilding for the truck, for the 440. So there's 10 screws that come that come out that hold the the main part of the body together. There's uh, eight that are obvious here. There's four. One, two, three, four. It's eight. And then there's two inside uh, the main, the body. There's one right here and one right here. Uh, those are easy to miss if you don't know they're there. But once those are out, then the whole body will come apart. So I'm on the home stretch of rebuilding this carburetor. And I just want to take a moment to give a word of caution. Uh, when you're taking apart a carburetor, do not assume that the last person who worked on it was careful. For instance, when I took this apart, there was no gasket between the phenolic body and the base plate. There were no gaskets. The O-rings were not present in the in the wells here. And the floats were set too low. So this carburetor might have run, but I doubt it ran very well. And the carburetor is pretty black. It probably was running rich. So just a note of caution. Make sure you check over everything. All right, it's the moment of truth. Everything's buttoned down, plugged off all the extra vacuum lines. Had to use a little bit of rubber hose in there, but I'll probably fix that afterwards. And I get the proper fitting to go into the carb. Now, let's get her cranked up. <laughs> 